As one of the busiest airports in the Northwest, SeaTac International serves 30 million passengers each year. Although most don't realize, they're sharing airspace with a half million bees. We're standing in the middle of one of the three apiaries here at SeaTac Airport. Bob Redmond is the executive director of Common Acre, a nonprofit bee conservation group that's partnered with the Port of Seattle to form the Flight Path Project. The big goal for this project is to save the bee. Now, let's talk a little bit about why it's important to conserve bees. I mean, mm -hmm. tell me about colony collapse. Well, first of all, bees pollinate one third of everything that humans eat. And since 2006, there's a syndrome mostly affecting commercial beekeepers in which the colonies enter a, a, a doom cycle and they can't produce enough bees to survive. So those populations collapse. We want to develop local Northwest bees that are better at surviving the winter than the California bees that come up in the spring. Mm -hmm. And so, we are here at the airport where we have a little green island. Vacant land surrounding an airport may seem an unusual option, but SeaTac's immense safety buffer, roughly 1,000 acres, represents city's growing demand to find creative conservation solutions in the middle of heavily populated urban areas. And on this green island, we can, for the most part, control the drones that are in the air, and we can, can control the colony genetics, and so, we can set up a situation where we can select our very best queens. Hopefully they will mate with our very own drones and we are creating our own strain of SeaTac Airport, you know, flight path bees. <laughs> as carefully selected as these bees have been, and despite the fact that the colonies are capable of surviving the many challenges they face, please don't call them super bees because there is no magic bullet. The answer to the bee problem is not this huge, complicated, chemical, industrial thing. It's something that all of us can do. Plant flowers, no chemical inputs, and let your lawn grow an inch taller. That's the solution to making healthier bees, not a magic super bee.